Hello and welcome back. Hopefully you've enjoyed. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So hopefully you've enjoyed this playthrough so far. I honestly wasn't intending to make it this long or go through everything, but I'm just so curious. I cannot stop myself. I'm actually recording this when all. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just recording this all in one sitting because it's so, so This was not the addicting. correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps well, he wanted to I? stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes! Oh, my baby! The lounge was so We're back! A work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? I love it's it. Its grace, its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something... Darker. Darker. That is awesome. He keeps changing his way of talking about it. I, I thought he did, but I wasn't sure. Ah, oh, this yes. room. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. There we go. A room so utterly captivating, so but that's... eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. We'll talk to my wife, Margaret. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I reckon. Gosh, Stanley. Look, Stanley, <coughs> I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Mm. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. <laughs> someone you've forgotten about. Please. It's okay, I remember Stop Margaret. trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For Margaret. This is it, Stan. I know we had our problems, your but we can make it yourself, better. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Margaret! She's been waiting. I know she has. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I'm curious, if I leave it for a bit, will he continue? Do one more ring, we'll see. Nope. Margaret? Honey Boo Boo? Oh, Stanley, is that you? <gasps> Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Yay! Alrighty! <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <gasps> <gasps> the hell is that? Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. Uh. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Well, I'm urging forward. To get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Mm. Sorry, uh. but you're in my story now. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is... Margaret's not real. How could you leave me on like that? You're a bad man. Oh, but she does have a nice rack. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh. Mm. Oh, that's a nice pic. No. Damn. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay, close to her. Can we just... Can we just talk about it, you know? Um, what's that noise? I'm sorry that I almost lit you on fire the other day. It wasn't... Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now... He's to his coming fake back wife. to work. One might even feel sorry for him, so except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. 
From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Hey. Where's the bread? God damn it, you lied to me. Oh, my bread. We don't even have an oven. Oh, this is just horrible. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he okay. stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. I the don't thought trust you. excited him terribly. She's staring at me. Press A to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. <laughs> at last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Pressed he to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this oh fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it <laughs> the Stanley Parable. Press non to tell your kids. I'm scared she's going to attack me soon. It was saying. such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <laughs> Press B to tell your wife you love her. I have no wife. But there, there is, is no, no bread. Answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. That is true. Press I to, no. Can I not go to s sleep? Good night, crew world. It's either an I or capital L. I'm gonna go with I. And I'm trying to tell him this. Oh. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Press said to be at work in the morning. So he wants me to not push it. My hands are off the keyboard. They're far, far away from the keyboard right now. I will not push the button. Hey guys, remember that red button that we're both supposed to push? You see? Can he just not... <laughs> How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Oh, How depressing. can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press 3 to question nothing. Okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. Excuse I me. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. <laughs> and I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Uh... Oh, that's... Yeah, this is... Uh, the end is never the end, I think it said. That was... Oh. I still can't believe my wife was a liar. I never got my bread out the oven. Right, so... We did the wife. Um, be right back when we come to something else now. Or that the orders oh, stopped coming sorry. in. How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. 
okay, you can't really take this great game for granted at all. It changes. Looks like you're stuck with me. <laughs> Don't want to miss anything now, do you? I want to go in the broom closet again. But we'll go to the right door. When Stanley the left. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Although there is the awesome lounge room. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire God, it. God, yes. Oh, I'm Stanley back, baby. in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Oh, yeah. Then the feeling went away, oh. and he felt sad again. Then it came back <gasps> and lingered for a minute or two. Yeah. Now it's only half there. Oh. Just a kind of, um, tingle. Like diarrhea? That's a bit tingly at times. You know, it kind of tingles down there and you're like, oh crap. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. You can't jump. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I love this game. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Righto. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I'm intrigued by that, but we're gonna go this way first. Yet there was not a single person here either. Best that Feeling it does. A wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, hell no! The broom closet! <laughs> That's the whole reason why I came this way! Oh... And I can't go back, can I? No. Ah, oh, Coming well. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I think there's a possible possibility to do other things this way. Oh yeah. To be rich is... To be rich. Is it a crime? To commit crimes. Isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. To pick one. Oh my. Extreme bathrooms. What else does it say? Oh. I don't think that says anything, although it's very, very hard to read it, so. What is that painting of? Well, this is. Surprised he hasn't said anything about this room. I don't know if there's a secret in here or not. Plant! Is there secrets in here? You want to tell me a secret? Well, hand soap. Hey, look at that! Oh. Nope. Nope. That toilet paper is weirdly positioned. Like, you'd have to kind of do a really weird turn. Well, I guess that's. that. Well, the store just does not look right, actually, because... Yeah. So, what else can we explore? Oh. Hello. There's an elevator. Oh. Up to the bosses. Going up. Ah, oh, yeah. Elevator music. I didn't put it th in this time, I swear.
you just shake, shake that ass? Okay, I think we should. So... Pretty epic. I'm gonna come back to that one day. And be all like, yo. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Ah! But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. <laughs> what could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. How epic would it be if um, those were velociraptors instead? Stanley just, just put it out there. around twiddling his thumbs. Oh, I'm in the boss's office. Anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Step 2845. I'm, in I'm intrigued. I think eventually he just gives up. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door <laughs> just opened <laughs> all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> well, whoop de do. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah! Emergency override opens it anyway, but... Epic! What's down this way? That is just darkness and... Oh, good lord. Where am I going? Did I...? Nope, that's where I came from. Just looks like there's something... back here that I should be... Looking no itchy ear. Nope. I don't know if it got stuck in a. So cool. So we'll go down. Yeah. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nah, we're gonna escape. That's what Although we're gonna this do. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent. Okay. Death. Well, um, I don't trust you. You seem to have it out for me, so... The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Liar! At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I won't die, that's a lie. Right? Dear Chimney, I guess I did die. So, 
so worth it. <gasps> Shizer. Oh, I remember this. Oh God. As the machine yep. burned into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his oh, life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow okay. life. Okay. We can Stanley. do it. No, it's not going to crush us. Ha ha! Oh, shit. Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh! Okay. What happened? Oh my. That is so cool. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Stanley what exactly Parable. did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Exactly right, woman. When every path oh. you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see I'm a clone. Do you see that Stanley was Wait. already dead from the moment he hit start? That is so cool. Office layout. This blue blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game, the path of Stanley's office to the two doors. Uh, to the, the path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. It's true. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section is important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Huh. The two doors. <laughs> the set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. So that was the beginning of the contradiction. The office. Just a bunch of doors. Button sounds. A section of sounds used. Throughout the game, in buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and synthesized tones. Whoa. Filing cabinets. Nature paintings. Wow. Stanley's computer. Office computer. I knew he was playing solitaire. I knew it! Frickin' solitaire players. And deploying database. Whoa. Get a lot of more help in this one. <laughs> Sweet. The office. Maintenance room, an early version of the maintenance room. Ah, that's which one we passed pre maybe previously. Excuse me. Greenlight, September 2012. We submitted the standard parable to Greenlight. The whole process of improving gains of steam. The Greenlight page had only been had only a series of cryptic photos which were still enough to win the community's approval. Well, if you'd played the mod for it on ModDB, you would know exactly what it's pretty much about, so... I think that may have helped as well. 
The lounge. <laughs> An early bird shoot, another lounge. Oh, I love that lounge. This thing is so freaking big. How is the games? How is the game going? I hope it's good f or better than the first one from a cool man. Better than the first one. <laughs> How do you stay in shape? Uh. Are you gay? <laughs> narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked for people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here's a section of those emails. How do you make a JRPG? How do you make th the worst game ever? What is the difference between a duck? What? These people are crazy. Appreciate the previous Disney Parable game as a work of art and standalone title. Appreciate the credit given to the art, which is why I'm eager to see sequel to da because I'm Disney Censor. Damn. Will, uh, will playing Disney Parable help me make friends? I don't have any. F Aww. That's sad. Anywho, we should probably wrap this session up. So much to see. Gosh. Jesus. Wow, oh, this is a museum in itself, isn't it? We found four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May 2012. It features a series of broken rooms and a voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version of Stanley Parable. Ooh. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Options return to menu. Escape menu. For a long time we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what we they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. For a long time we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. When they restarted from the escape menu. Interesting. I assume they just mean that the player plays through it and sort of just stops playing once he's done the first scene. Well, a death on an early version of the countdown ending. So, how do I get out of here? Do I get out of here or do I have to restart? See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding of good or bad game design. But of course, you being you will probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Oh gosh. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do now. We'll be right back. <laughs>